Good morning everyone! Last night I went to Dopamine Land in London so I thought I would spill the tea for you this morning. I am gonna take you through how the experience was. I took a bunch of clips so I'm gonna be showing you and taking you with me throughout it and then we're gonna be talking about prices, how the venue was, where is it and if it's even worth going. If this is your first time watching, thank you for being here. My name is Alba, I run this channel with my partner Naz, but in this video it's just gonna be me because I did go to Dopamine Land with my friends. So, let's talk about it. So, Dopamine Land has been on my TikTok feed for months and one of my friends really wanted to go so I was like, yeah, looks fun, let's do it. If you guys have never heard of Dopamine Land before, it's basically a multi-sensory experience that is meant to release happiness hormones and that's why it has that name. And when I say multi-sensory, what I mean is that as you go through the experience, you'll be using different senses, for example, your sense of touch, of smell, of hearing, and the combination of those with the environment that they have created throughout the experience will it's meant to make you feel happy and I have to say it did make me feel happy but essentially the way that it works is you go in you are greeted by the receptionist then they will send you in to an intro room um, you can use the toilets or you can leave your coat and your bags in a cloakroom which actually I do recommend um, because as you go through the experience, you don't want to be carrying all your stuff, you won't be able to enjoy it as much, but you do have to pay £2.50 per person, but you pay £2.50 and you can leave as much as you want, basically. Once you have done that, they will group you, I think in a group of like seven or eight people max, and they will send you into a room where they explain what the experience is gonna be and it's kind of like a bit of like an introductory into that sensory world that you're about to enter. And after that introduction, you then start kind of like your tour through the experience, which consists on a number of rooms and each room is different. So each room is meant to evoke a slightly different emotion and feeling in you. And some rooms resonate more with certain people, other rooms resonate more with other people. Um, it's quite interesting to like see how different people react to different rooms and the first two rooms are timed so you have like a limited amount of time to spend in that room and basically at some point they'll be like guys you need to move to the next room but after the initial two rooms you are able to spend as much time as you want in the other rooms and I'm not gonna explain in detail what each of the rooms were because that'll be a massive spoiler for you guys if you do want to go but yeah i'm gonna leave you guys with some clips of the experience yeah enjoy <laughs> Now let's talk prices. So we paid £23 per person, um, including the booking fee, because we had to book it through an app and they did charge an extra fee, um, which I thought was quite pricey um, for what it was. And I'll get into how long it lasts and all of that soon. Um, but some of my friends were saying that it's quite normal for London. I think 
it's very difficult to find an experience in London for less than 20 pounds. I, I really did enjoy it. So I don't think it was wasted money at all from my perspective, uh, but it might be a lot of money for, for other people for what it is because the experience um, actually only lasted about one hour, which might seem like quite a lot, but it went by super fast. Like from beginning to end, I thought it had been like half an hour. Like it went by so, so fast, but I would have, preferred if it lasted a little bit longer because we did pay 23 pounds per person but apart from that i really did enjoy it i had an amazing time with my friends and i'll actually leave their reactions to the experience after this so you can see what they what they thought but yeah my personal thoughts were that they were it was really fun um it was really nice and enjoyable just a little bit overpriced in my opinion but again everything in london is overpriced so what can you expect? <laughs> what did you think? I thought it was really good. Uh, some rooms I liked more than others, like the pulpit. Pulpit's really good. Yeah. The lights thing with the mirrors, that was really nice. I thought it was really fun. <laughs> Would I go again? Probably not. Maybe it could be fun. <laughs> Once is enough. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to do something fun, that's the, the place to be now in London. Do you guys think it's worth the money? Yeah, I think so. I think so. No? No. <laughs> it was a bit expensive for what it is. I disagree. Okay, and different opinion. For London, it's pretty good. You can also get drinks at the end if you want that. You do need to buy tickets in advance. It's almost impossible to just show up and buy the ticket. Um, so you need to buy them in advance online. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested. And we booked the last session of the day at 7 p.m. because we had to go after work. But 7 p.m. is the last possible time slot that you can get. Um, and there's obviously all the other slots throughout the day. So it's not really a nighttime activity, more of like a day slash evening. And because you do need to buy the ticket in advance, you buy your own slot, the place can never get too busy because basically they have a number of tickets available for a certain date and time. It'll never feel too crowded in the experience rooms, which is really good. Dopamine Land is located in South Kensington, so West London. Um, we all took the tube to get there and it's only about a five minute walk from the tube station, which is pretty good. And what was really good about the location is, well, if you've never been before or if you are visiting London, you definitely want to have a roam around South Kensington after because it has the lovely um, Victorian white houses um, to walk around. It's really, really pretty. And the best part is that there is a lot of restaurants around. So when we finished the experience, it was perfect timing because we finished at like 8, 8.30. We went for dinner after. Um, we just went to Honest Burger, which if you guys haven't been, you should try it. <laughs> it's like one of the best burger places in London. Um, but there are many, many other places where you can go for dinner or lunch um, after the experience. So I do recommend. So yeah, that's gonna be everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you've been to the mainland, how did you find it? Um, and do you want me to go to any other places and experiences like this in London that you want me to review? I'll be more than happy to do so. And so just let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we have lots more content for London and travel content coming up. So as always, thank you guys so much for being here and watching. And I guess we'll see you in our next video.